Reading hands is a term used in card playing that we can use for American Mahjong. When a player has two exposures, you can figure out what they're playing by process of elimination. In this video, we're going to practice. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Here's a hand played at Mahjong time. This is my rack. And you can see we have three other players. Two have two exposures and one has one exposure. We're going to focus on this hand based on the exposures and the tiles that have been discarded and of course the tiles that you can see here what am i playing there's only one hand this could be consecutive run number six three four three four five Thankfully, we have a pair here because it could have been blocked by that up there. So we have consecutive run number six. To see this hand played out, look for a link in the video description below. The only hand this could be is news with like numbers. There's only one hand this could be with a pung of sevens and a pung of red dragons. That would be odds number two on the right. Because this player has only one exposure, we don't know what they're playing. We might be able to figure it out though. Pung of threes, we have sevens here, so they're probably not playing consecutive run they're probably not playing little odds because we have the sevens here. They might be playing a mixed suit odd hand, first one on the right, or they could be playing a three, six, nine hand. I suppose they could maybe even be playing like numbers with dragons. With a pung of threes, considering what is out here, what do you think they're playing? When someone has one exposure, it's challenging to figure out what they could be playing. You could try to do a process of elimination by looking at the discards in front of them. When someone has two exposures, you can look at the discards and the other exposures and by process of elimination, figure out what they're playing. If you haven't tried playing at Mahjong time, this is a great way to practice. Look for my email in the video description below. I can send you information about the VIP trial. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.